In this problem, we're being asked to factor, and we're basically being asked to find the greatest common factor and factor it out from each of these terms. So solution. So we just look at each term and we try to see what they have in common. So as far as numbers, looks like we have a three here, a three here because three times three is nine, and a three here because three times two is six. So because there's a negative here, we're definitely gonna get rid of that. So let's pull out a negative three. It just makes it cleaner. Okay, as far as a's, we have an a to the fourth here, an a squared here, and an a cubed here. What they all have in common is a squared. So let's go ahead and pull out an a squared. So I'll put that here. Okay, then you put a parentheses, and then you think about what goes here. So I think a lot of times when people go into factoring, they get really confused, like they try to do it all at once. Just first write down what you're gonna pull out. Then you think about what goes here. Okay, so what do we multiply by this in order to get this? Well, here we have a squared, and here we have a to the fourth. So we just need an a squared. And then what do you multiply by this in order to get this? Well, here we have nine a squared, here we have negative three a squared. We're just missing a negative three. And you should check all of this, right? Negative three a squared times a squared, well, you multiply the a squareds and you add the exponents. Two plus two is four, and so you're good. Same thing here, negative three a squared times negative three. The negative three and the negative three are gonna become a positive nine, and then you have the a squared here already. Over here, it's a little bit trickier. We're trying to get a six. It's already negative. This is negative, so this is gonna be plus two. That's gonna give us the negative six, right? Negative three times two is negative six. And we need an a cubed, but here we have an a squared. So a is gonna be what we want. And again, the directions for this problem just want us to factor out the greatest common factor. Let's double check it. Negative three a squared times a squared. You add these, so you get this, checks. Negative three a squared times negative three is gonna become a positive nine a squared, checks. Negative three a squared plus two a, when you multiply these, it'll become a negative six, and then the a squared and the a will give you an a cubed checks. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck.